There's nothing to help set a pen to paper quite like struggle. And for a songwriter, sometimes that's all there is. So Uncle Annie and Papa and I, you know, I refer to them as Uncle and Aunt, they're really godparents. So okay. we're not blood related, but our families were close for generations. And so consequently, they became like family. Totally. Of course, both artists. Right. And we're very particular about being artists, but there was a balance between art and business, obviously. Mm -hmm. And they, they didn't believe in signs. So there, they kind of erred on the side of art. Mm -hmm. So they believed that if you make something of quality, people will find you. So mm -hmm. they never had a sign, didn't have a sign at the restaurant as well. And that was just kind of that, that quirky little artistic view of things. Right. And that's how they, they, they ran that's things. That's crazy. So, yeah. You know, business people are like hearing that and just going, oh, oh. and right. now you're the business and, guy, and right? And never like, done any kind of advertising whatsoever. It's strictly word of mouth. Uh-huh. Love it. So, so you said you're doing the same hours. Same everything. Man, carrying yeah. on the tradition, yeah. that legacy. Why are people coming here? And Uncle Lee was asked this question once by uh, a writer who is not from our area. Mm -hmm. And the writer an anticipated an artistic answer. He thought Uncle Lee would say something along the lines of, well, it's the black squiggly mark, it's the glazes, it's the uniqueness of the formulas. Totally. But that wasn't Uncle Lee's answer. He gave an answer that is typical for the Mississippi Delta. And he said, and this is certainly true, what makes McCarty's unique is that it reminds people of home. It is a sense of place. Mm. And that's true. Mm -hmm. And so many of the folks who collect our pieces do so because it reminds them of the Mississippi Delta. It reminds them of that connection with the Delta, with the state of Mississippi, and ultimately with home. When you drink out of that glass, or well, when you, well, you for, know. For me, it reminds me of my childhood. Mm. You know, it's that memory. You know, and it's that love. And also, of course, through love comes joy. And Uncle Annie and Pup love life. And there's a joy to be had in life that, you know, unfortunately, in this day and age, everybody's so busy with the 21st century and our technological devices that sometimes I think we forget to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And they enjoyed it. And that, that love and that joy came through their work because yes. they loved it. What is McCarty's today, though? It is as it was, and yeah. that is the challenge. So I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, <laughs> throw some pottery today. Looks like you're already getting started. Really yeah. great job here. Really great job. So I was, uh, I was talking to Stephen outside. Uh huh. He gave you a compliment. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he said that you were the, or you are the artist. I owe him some here. more money now. Probably. Right? So, <laughs> yes. I mean, I love it. And I'm already seeing it, man. That's amazing. It works really well because it's a bright line of distinction. You know, I take it from raw clay to finished piece, and then he gets it after that. Uh, if you ask me how much something is, I don't even know the prices. That's really? Just, yep. I, well, you I'm don't just, like walk around and you say, mm, you should be charging more. My time. My time, because that's the whole thing. There's a lot of time in this, right? You know, there's time, and uh, I mean, I don't know. Some people call it work. To me, this is the fun part, so. I guess just some of your uh, back story, you know, the making making pottery, you know, I, I know yeah. you grew up I, in I'm, the shop here, right? Yep, I'm actually, Uncle Lee's wheel is right where I am, and right where he's sitting is where I had a little wheel. Okay. And which was just like this one, you know, the designs have not changed in forever. Okay. And um, I, that's when I just started messing around. And the first things I did looked very much like you would expect a five-year-old to make, you know? I just messed around with it forever. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we'd come home for the holidays, because Steve and I went off to boarding school, okay. I'd get on the wheel and mess around with it, and, and I just sort of kept my hand in it like that you know, just periodically. Mm -hmm. And when I was working for IBM in Atlanta, uh, Chastain Arts offered pottery classes. And so I just decided I'd, in the afternoons or at night, I'd go over there and, and get, get a little better. So you're working at IBM, big corporate job. Yeah, exactly. You're taking these night classes, improving. Yep. I guess at that point, it's a hobby, pottery. It, it and, is, I mean, uh, it is a hobby at that point, but I loved it, it was fun. And I always you know, knew that I wasn't, really wasn't gonna settle down until I ended up coming home. You know, you can take a boy out of the Delta, but you can't take the Delta out of the boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that sort of, um, that sort of guided me. Hmm. Um, 
and I guess you could say subconsciously, whatever you want to call it, I was working towards this even while I was at IBM. I'm nervous. Ah, no. All right, so water on my hands, water is your friend. Okay. Water is my friend. Uh, then okay. we put some goo on there too, because goo, okay. goo is good. All right, goo is good. Try and get all the way around it, or just like on the... No, go ahead and touch it. You can overlap your fingers if you need ah, to. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's go up with it. I'm going up? Yep, go up. Perfect. There you, go. you can let go slowly. Good. Okay, now. All right, so now it's beautiful. We're gonna Oh, just wait. It's a lot more beautiful in a minute. I'm start going up just a little. Just follow it. All right, you can start letting go. All right, very good. You're holding it. It'll go down a little. What we're trying to do is keep it from wobbling while I start putting pressure on it. Okay, go ahead and touch it. Don't let, don't let go until I say so. Okay, see, no wobble. This is why we do it the way we do it. Awesome. So cool. Isn't that fun? Just a few minutes ago, that was just a Too big old ball, hump. right? Two big old clumps. Yep. Man, I now, for the first, I have the delta under my nails. Exactly, exactly. Right? I feel it, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank Very you well. So Thank much, you, man. man. Appreciate y'all coming. I really, really appreciate There's it. There's a sink over there, and you know where the towel is. Hey, I'm just going to leave it. Come on, high five, Tony. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes. All right. <laughs> Mississippi Delta, high five. Yes. It took me too many years to learn that the imperfections make it great. But for Lee and Putt McCarty, those words were set in stone from the very beginning. 